Gary Himmel's Neighborhoods presents an all-star salute to New York City, starring a cast of 10 million, including Mario Cuomo, Kevin Nealon, and Jerry Sanders as the chief. New York, New York. I've been here 53 years. I, I was born and raised here. And New York is New York. It's in my blood. I cannot leave this city. I think it's fantastic. That's a sentiment echoed by a lot of people who call the Big Apple home. Although no two New Yorkers express it exactly the same way. Oh, man, if you're not in New York, man, you got to be a square, man. This is what's happening. I mean, this is the Big Apple, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> Never sleeps. It's always open, anywhere you want to go, anything you want to do. I know why they call this the city that never sleeps, because it's too darn noisy here to get to sleep. It's a little overcrowded sometimes, but... A little overcrowded. <laughs> 10 million people, that's it. In a town this big, you're bound to see someone you know. I'm the CBS affiliate in San Diego, okay. and we're out here doing stories about New York. And could we get a quick sound from you? Sure. Why people in this town are so in love with this place? Uh, you kind of get used to it. It's so everything's so convenient here. You know, you don't need a car or anything like that. And and uh, the people are, are friendly. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I tried to rip my, my wallet. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> but are all New Yorkers as friendly as Kevin? We're from a San Diego television station. Can we talk to you? No, we, I don't we, have time. we we just want to find out why New Yorkers are always so pleasant. We're from a San Diego TV station. Can we ask you a quick question? I'm on my way to work. We're from a San Diego television station. Can we ask you a quick question? I'm sorry, I'm late already. Well, we just want to ask you uh, why New Yorkers are always so friendly. So friendly? I don't find that. There are friendly folks in New York. Hello, San Diego. There you go, my <laughs> man. And you can talk to New Yorkers about almost anything, except Politics I don't talk about. They all stiffs. <laughs> this is a unique place in the world. It is the international city. People come from all over the globe just to experience the pace, the dynamism. New York, New York, it's a wonderful time. For tourists, New York City can be both exciting and terrifying. A nice place to visit, but you wouldn't want to work here. How would you like to be police chief of this town? You know, I, I'm a little afraid of being a tourist here even, so I don't think I'd like to be chief at all. Tomorrow I'll give you tips for Big Apple tourists as my New York series continues. Larry Himmel, News 8, New York, New York. There is so much to see in New York City. But New York is not only the biggest city in the United States, it's the most intimidating. For visitors, New York can be downright frightening, unless you follow these simple tips for tourists. They are as simple as A, B, C. A is for attitude. Hot pizza today, hot pizza. <laughs> pizza man John George epitomizes the New York attitude. So when you come here, you, make, you have to make believe that you come from New York. Right, just have the attitude. This attitude, walk around, how you doing? Walk around like you own the city. Yeah, That's little, it. Give me a little New York. Well, yeah, you know, just give it a little New York style. Friend, hey, yo, hey. That's all. How you doing? Have a nice uh -huh. day. Just like animals adapt to their environment, New Yorkers develop an attitude to survive. New York traffic cops definitely have the attitude. Hold it up, Bubba, hold it up! Go to your right, Bubble. You got it, you got it, that, that. Hold it up. Watch so, people, watch so. Once you've developed an attitude, you're ready to enjoy New York. The excitement, the thrill, the culture, the museums, the art, the Broadway theater. There's so much happening in New York City, but along with your attitude, don't forget to bring along a lot of money. The B in the ABCs of New York stands for bucks. 
Standing on an island in the middle of Times Square is like being in the eye of a hurricane. It is calm right here, but around you is all of the madness that is New York City. Here it's all about money. The only light in Times Square that's not sponsored is the moon. B is also for Buddy. If you're traveling at night in New York City, always bring along a friend. San Diego's heaven, New York is hell. Far too much smoke in the city. Everybody smokes in restaurants, people don't care. Dirty, crowded, expensive, but it's, it's different from San Diego, much different. This is a unique place in the world. It is the international city. In the ABCs of New York, the C stands for culture. The Big Apple is dripping in culture. When you come here, be sure to soak up as much as you can get. Okay, Mr. Hamill, this is Broadway. I've been here 21 years in this block. CBS Theater is right here with David Letterman's show. And it's a great show. Yes, New York can be a lot of fun. If you just remember A, B, C. Always be careful. Tomorrow, I'll take you on a tour of Central Park, and you'll find what New York and San Diego have in common. Larry Himmel, News 8, New York City. It's hard to imagine two more opposite cities than San Diego and New York, yet there are similarities. San Diego and New York City do have one thing in common. They both have a park as a centerpiece of their city. So today we're here to compare and contrast the differences between Balboa Park and Central Park. Listen how quiet. You don't hear any street noise. In fact, the sound you hear most often in Central Park is the clacking of hoofs on the pavement. Central Park is loaded with carriages, and the drivers act as tour guides. This is the old beautiful Plaza Hotel, which is still owned by Donald Trump. Both Central Park and Balboa Park have a zoo. Although, give me a break, there really is no comparison. Both parks have carousels and joggers. But for safety reasons, joggers in Central Park tend to run in packs, rather large packs. Only the meanest and the bravest of joggers runs alone. For protection in Central Park, it's best to bring along two dogs. Like Balboa, this park has serene landscapes at every stretch. On a sunny afternoon in Central Park, you can even find a transplanted San Diego. It takes a while to get used to the intensity and the pace and just not being friendly to people on the street and keeping to yourself and just a go, go, go uh, attitude. Like Balboa Park, you'll find street performers here. And although the music and style may be different, you've seen one balloon bender, you've seen them all. Like San Diegans, New Yorkers love to sail. They're also into rollerblading and believe it or not, volleyball. Although in Central Park, it's played on pavement. It's a lot tougher on your legs. It's, it's easier to move, you know, playing doubles on the hard surface, but it's much tougher on your legs. Both Balboa Park and Central Park are beautiful places to spend a day. There is, however, one major difference. By the time this story airs, Central Park will be frozen and covered with snow. Larry Himmel, News 8, New York City.